Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Rory Yates. It certainly has been a wonderful experience to read God's Word every day. I feel blessed and I hope those of you who have seen this humble little program have shared some of that blessing with me. I am prepared to fight for this program's survival as much as the Lord leads me. So I hope that these next few episodes will not be a sign of the end of the Daily Vision Bible. It's Leviticus 13's day. Strangely a longer chapter than yesterday's considering that in this chapter, we are looking at the laws governing the disease. Let us open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, we come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Leviticus, chapter 13. Yahweh spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, When a man shall have a rising in his body's skin, or a scab or bright spots, and it becomes the skin or his body, the plague of leprosy, and he shall be brought to Aaron the priest, or to one of his sons, the priests, and the priest shall examine the plague in the skin of the body. And if the air in the plague has turned white, and the appearance of the plague has deepened on the body's skin, it is the plague of leprosy, and the priest shall examine him and pronounce him unclean. If the bright spot is white in the skin of his body, his appearance isn't deeper than the skin, and his hair hasn't turned white. And then the priest shall isolate the infected person for seven days. The priest shall examine him on the seventh day and look. If in his eyes the plague is arrested, the plague hasn't spread in the skin, and then the priest shall isolate him for seven more days. The priest shall examine him again on the seventh day and look. If the plague has faded, the plague hasn't spread in the skin. Then the priest shall pronounce him clean. It is a scab. He shall wash his clothes and be clean. But if the scab spreads on the skin, after he has shown himself to the priest with his cleansing, he shall show himself to the priest again. The priest shall examine him and look if the scab has spread on the skin. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is leprosy. And the plague of leprosy is in a man. And he shall be brought to the priest, and the priest shall examine him. Look, if there is a white rising in the skin, and let's turn the hair white, and there is raw flesh in the rising, it is a chronic leprosy in the skin of his body, and the priest shall pronounce him unclean. He shall not isolate him, for he is already unclean. If the leprosy breaks out all over the skin, and the leprosy covers all the skin of the affected person, from his head, even to his feet. As far as it appears to the priest, then the priest shall examine him. And look, if the leprosy has covered all his flesh, it shall pronounce him clean of the plague. It has all turned white, he is clean. But whenever raw flesh appears in him, he shall be unclean. The priest shall examine the raw flesh, and pronounce him unclean. The raw flesh is unclean, it is leprosy. Or if the raw flesh turns again, and it is changed to white, then he shall come to the priest, and the priest shall examine him. And look, if the plague has turned white, then the priest shall pronounce him clean of the plague. He is clean. When the body has a boil in its skin, and it has healed, and in the place of the boil there is a white rising, or a bright spot, reddish white, then it shall be shown to the priest, and the priest shall examine it, and look. If its appearance is lower than the skin, and its hair has turned white, then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It's the plague of leprosy. It is broken out in the boil. If the priest examines it, and look, there are no white hairs in it, and it isn't deeper than the skin, but it's dim, then the priest shall isolate him seven days. If it spreads in the skin, then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is a plague. But if the bright spot stays in its place, and hasn't spread, it's the scarf and boil, and the priest shall pronounce him clean. But when the body has a burn from fire on its skin, and the raw flesh of the burn becomes a bright spot, reddish white, or white, then the priest shall examine it and look. If the air in the bright spot has turned white, and its appearance is deeper than the skin, it is leprosy, and it is broken out in a burning, and the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is the plague of leprosy. If the priest examines it, and look, there is no white hair in the bright spots, 
that isn't lowered in the skin, but it's fading. Then the priest shall isolate him seven days. The priest shall examine him on the seventh day. If they are spread in the skin, then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is the plague of leprosy. If the bright spot stays in its place, it doesn't spread in the skin, but it's faded. It is the swelling from the burn. The priest shall pronounce him clean. For it's the scar from the burn. When a man or a woman has a plague on the head or on the beard, then the priest shall examine the plague and look. If its appearance is deeper than the skin, and the air in it is yellow and thin, then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is an itch. It is leprosy of the head or of the beard. If the priest examines the plague of itching and look, its appearance isn't deeper than the skin, and there is no black hair in it. Then the priest shall isolate the person infected with itching seven days. On the seventh day, the priest shall examine the plague and look. If the itch hasn't spread, and there is no yellow hair in it, and the appearance of the itch isn't deeper than the skin, then he shall be shaved. But he shall not shave the itch. And the priest shall separate who has the itch seven more days. On the seventh day, the priest shall examine the itch. Look. And look. If the itch hasn't spread in the skin, and the experience isn't deeper than the skin, then the priest shall pronounce him clean. He shall wash his clothes and be clean. But if the itch spreads in the skin after his cleansing, then the priest shall examine it and look. If the itch is spread in the skin, the priest shall not look for the yellow air. He is unclean. Within his eyes, the itch is arrested, and black hair is grown in it. The itch is healed. He is clean. The priest shall pronounce him clean. When a man or woman has bright spots in the skin of the body, even the white bright spots, then the priest shall examine them, and look, if the bright spots on the skin of the body are dull white, it is a harmless rash. It's broken out of the skin. He is clean. If a man's hair has fallen from his head, he is bald, he is clean. If his hair has fallen off from the front part of his head, he is forehead bald, he is clean. But if there is the bald head, the bald forehead, a reddish white plague, it is leprosy, breaking out in his bald head, or his bald forehead. Then the priest shall examine him, and look, if the rising of the plague is reddish white in his bald head, on his bald forehead, like the appearance of leprosy in the skin of the flesh, he is a leprous man, he is unclean. The priest shall surely pronounce him unclean. His plague is on his head. The leper in whom the plague is shall wear torn clothes, and the hair of head shall hang loose. He shall cover his upper lip, and he shall cry, Unclean, unclean. All the days in which the plague is in him, he shall be unclean. He is unclean. He shall dwell alone. Outside of the camp shall be his dwelling. The garment also that the plague of the leprosy is in, whether it is in warp or warp, of linen or of wool, whether in the skin or anything made of skin, if the plague is greenish or reddish in the garment, or in the skin, or in the warp, or in the wolf, or anything made of skin, it is a plague of leprosy, and shall be sown to the priest. The priest shall examine the plague and isolate the plague seven days. It shall examine the plague on the seventh day. If the plague is spread in the garments, either in the warp or in the wolf, or in the skin, whatever use the skin is used for, the plague is a destructive mildew. It is unclean. It shall burn the garments, whether the warp or the wolf, in wool or in linen, or anything of skin in which the plague is, for it is a destructive mildew. It shall be burned in the fire. If the priest examines it, and look, the plague hasn't spread in the garments, either in the warp, or in the wolf, or in anything of skin, then the priest shall command that they wash the thing in which the plague is, and they shall isolate it seven more days. Then the priest shall examine it. After the plague is washed, and look, if the plague hasn't changed its colour, and the plague hasn't spread, it is unclean. It shall burn it in the fire. It is a mildewed spot, whether the bareness is inside or outside. If the priest looks and sees the plague is raided after it is washed, then he shall tear it out of the garment, or out of the skin, or out of the wolf, or out of the wolf. And if it appears again in the garment, either in the wolf, or in the wolf, or in anything of skin, it is spreading. You shall burn with fire 
stats on which the player gets. Garments. I invert the war with the war for whatever thing I was going to say, which you shall wash. If the plague has departed from them, then it shall be washed a second time, and it will be clean. This is the law of the plague of mildew, and the garment of wool or linen, either in the wolf or the wolf, or anything of skin, to pronounce it clean or to pronounce it unclean.